Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking news: Congress makes move on DACA. This is huge. Congress is set to reconvene in Washington D.C. this week, but dreamers have no reason to be excited about this. USA Today reported that House Republican leaders are still trying to find enough votes to pass a party-line immigration bill that has almost no chance of passing through the Senate, as it will need a 60-vote majority to avoid a promised Democratic filibuster. A week that was supposed to be a free-flowing immigration debate quickly fizzled, as the Senate failed to advance four pieces of immigration legislation in just a couple of hours. After this, Congress broke for a week-long recess. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell RKY, has said that he will bring up immigration legislation in the future, but only if it is supported by Trump and if it is guaranteed to pass. Congress has been trying for months to reach a compromise to give legal certainty for the immigrants whose parents brought them to the United States as children. Back in September, Trump ended a Barack Obama-era program that protected nearly 800,000 of the Dreamers from deportation, giving Congress until March 5 to find a solution. Daily Caller reported. It is assumed that the Court of Appeals will proceed expeditiously to decide this case, the Court's Monday morning orders read, a strong sign the justices will take the case at some point in the future. In an extraordinary procedural move, the government appealed directly to the Supreme Court. Under normal procedure, the government would challenge Alsop's order at the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, a principal antagonist to Trump's ambitions throughout his presidency. Solicitor General Noel Francisco, the government's Supreme Court lawyer, argued the case required the tribunal's urgent attention, as Alsop's decision requires the government to sanction indefinitely an ongoing violation of federal law being committed by nearly 700,000 aliens. The justices rarely grant such requests. The petition was also a long shot as a matter of timing. At this juncture of the year, scheduling constraints weigh heavily on the docket. The court adjourns in late June, and the agenda for a given term is generally set by January. As such, it would be quite unusual for the justices to schedule another case for the current term at this late moment. The court signaled throughout the last week that it would not grant the government's request. The court had two scheduled opportunities to announce a decision respecting the petition, but remained silent each time, a strong sign it would reject the appeal. All told, Monday's decision was not a surprising development. The decision does not exhaust the Trump administration's options. Instead, it will revert to normal appellate procedure and ask the Ninth Circuit to overturn Alsop's ruling. If the Ninth Circuit declines to do so, the government may then petition the Supreme Court. The decision casts further uncertainty upon the 680,000 DACA recipients currently inside U.S. borders. The prospect of a legislative solution to their predicament is currently rather thin, making the judiciary the most likely venue for a decision as to their future. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.